Hello mga kasangga! Welcome to my channel, Pearl TV and Travels Vlog! Mga kasangga, pakinggan natin ang opinion ng mga cast ng Love Before Sunrise. They talk about love, getting marriage, and settlement. Check this out, guys. Oh, there are viewers. This is Dennis Trillo. And my name is Sid Lucero. Hi, I'm Bea Alonzo. And I'm Andrea Torres. And today, we will play... He, he said, said, She Said. Most men don't marry the woman they love or loved the most. They marry the woman that's in their life when they're ready to marry. Is this statement completely false or does it hold some truth? Masyadong malaman sa totoong buhay. Sandali ha. Editing, editing, editing. Ako personally, I always thought that I'll marry someone that I'm gonna be going for. Like, I know that's the one. But I'm getting older and it seems like that's not as important to me anymore. Parang mas importante sa akin yung companionship and everything. So, things are much more simpler for me nowadays. And parang mas malapit sa akin yung nangyayari dyan. And I don't know if it's true or not. And I don't know if it's healthy or whatever. But it seems like doon papunta yung direction ng buhay ko. So, bakit tayo lalaban? Aww. Feeling ko for No, but I've heard this. Talaga Sabi ba? Nila, yung women daw, we, um, we get married pag nakita na natin yung the one. Yung mga lalaki daw, they get married depende sa timing ng buhay nila. It doesn't matter who they're with as long as ready na sila to get married. I, well, that's what I heard. But I don't know. I, I hope it's not true, Dom. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Feeling ko hindi. Kasi di ba bakit? Sorry, hindi ko talaga maano. Is it why some men cheat in a marriage? No, I, I don't know if it's true or not. But I've heard the statement before. I hope Refuse it's not to true. believe. Pero <laughs> kasi if it's true, that's so sad. Oo nga eh. Sabi sabihin, hopeless romantic lang tayo mga babae. Kinecreate lang natin yung idea in our heads. I hope Refuse it's not to true. believe. <laughs> oh, that sucks for the guys. Kasi ang sarap din maging hopeless romantic. Although it hurts sometimes. Oh. Oh, ang sarap, sarap ma-inlove ng todo-todo. Oo, oh, oh. ang sarap kiligin. Baka naman, ano, nag-meet talaga both. Ready na sila, nag-mature na sila, at the same time, yun din talaga yung person na Tama nilove pa. nila enough to make that oh. risk. Siguro, uh, well, mahirap mag-settle sa isang bagay na hindi mo talaga mahal, di ba? Pag magpapakasal ka, parang kailangan mo talagang piliin at kailangan yung pakakasalan mo, mahal mo rin, di ba? Kasi mahirap magsisi sa huli. And, siyempre, napakalaking desisyon yan. Kailangan pag-isipan mo mabuti. Isipin mo kung kaya ka niyang pakisamahan. Although, mahirap talaga yun, maghanap ka ng isang tao na kaya sa akin lahat ng trip mo. Dahil yeah. na. Uy, so, tsaka in fairness kay Dennis, ha? Ang tagal na nilang um, together and alam mong kaya naman nila to have a family. Pero talagang nag-wait siya ng right moment. Oo nga. Tagal na nila seven mm -hmm. years daw sila in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Pero may napanood akong ano, stand-up na gig ni Amy Schumer. Sabi niya, you should find the guy na who can stand you for the rest of your lives. Kasi sometimes, na pag married na kayo, parang nawawala na yung romance. And mm -hmm. yung mga unlikable things about you, he should be able to stand it. And I feel like Dom will be able to stand it. <laughs> Hindi pilitan ang pagpapakasal. Yun lang yun. Tama. I agree. Uh, I agree 100%. Cool. No, so, ako na ba ito? Ako na ba? Okay. For almost 30 years, para <laughs> minaalala ko. I watched others find love while I stayed single. I never went on dates or had short romances. Which made me wonder if I was being too picky. Should I just settle for something less? Or should I just wait for destiny to work, work its magic? Hirap na mga sagot. Oo, hirap yan. Pero... Ako, don't look for love. Just... Let love find you. There's someone out there just for you. Diba? Agree. And don't settle. Never settle. Oh, kasi life mo yun forever. Yun na yung future mo. So exactly. why? Diba? Oo nga. You deserve someone better. Mm -hmm. And if you don't feel like 
you have found somebody that you truly love and who shakes you to the core, then don't settle. Because they deserve to ha- to ano mo yun, to experience that feeling and to um, go through a journey of loving somebody and tru- truly be loved by someone. Ano siya good ni si that Dennis D? Wala naman. Di ko alam kung kaya ko magantay ng 30 years kung talagang hindi pa ako hindi ko pa rin nakikita yung gusto ko. Siguro bababa ako na ng konti yung standards ko kung wala pa rin talaga in 30 years. Kasi parang hirap tiisin eh, na wala kang kasama, wala ano. Siguro kailangan, wag lang siguro ganun katagal. Kailangan meron kang um, parang alternative na kahit pa paano, yun muna pansamantala. Kasi kung maantayin mo talaga, and malay mo hindi na talaga dumating, parang hindi mo rin siya na-experience ko kakakalaman. Alam mo, sobrang sexist nun. Kasi yung mga lalaki, kahit 50 years old na, hindi sila naglo-lower ng standards. In fact, mababa na pa nga ng pabata yung ginagawa nila. So, bakit different sa babae? Sexist. Sexist comment, Dennis. Grabe kayo sa amin. May chance pa. Kasi kami magsasettle. Para sa akin kasi, like, we live in a society where importante sa atin ang relationships. Lalo na dito sa Pilipinas. Eh, lahat ng show natin is love-related. Lahat ng pelikula na pumuputok dito is love-related. And naniniwala ko na dito sa Pilipinas, sobrang ang taas ng weight ng romance sa lives natin, di ba? But I also think that kung wala pa, then there must be a reason. And maybe whatever higher power you believe in the universe or God himself is saying to be patient, why not? Diba? And I also think it's also healthy to like focus on yourself before you rush into romances. Sabi nga nila, you have to be a complete person bago mo ibigay yung sinili mo sa ibang tao. Eh. Don't use the other person to complete you. Parang ganun. But at the same time, I also agree with you. So I don't know. Mahirap masyado matagal maghintay. Eh? 30 years nga naman. So, grabe yan, grabe yan. Medyo, grabe. Hindi ba ako sa patience yan? Kasi <laughs> yan. <laughs> yeah. Huwag yan masyadong matagal kasi baka, uh, baka huli na yung lahat at uh, wala ka pa rin napipili. Baba mo yung standards mo, siguro. Eh, yeah. hey, grabe yun! Oh my gosh! Oh, or bago malang iba yung standards, hindi naman babaan. Iba lang yung standards siguro. Baka gusto mo, 0.1% ng world yung gusto mo. 6 feet, 7 digits a year. Baka no, imposible na talaga yun. <laughs> Uy, hindi naman. Realistic naman. Realistic naman. Oo. And I think yung mga babae naman, hindi naman kami ganun. Like in general, the, my girlfriends, parang kapag nagsiset kami ng standards, it's more really about values. Oo. And, you know, yung parang background, family background. And... Tsaka yun yung mga, wala na negotiables mo kasi talagang kailangan mo talaga yeah. sa relationship yeah. para mag-work. <laughs> <laughs> kasi di ba na pag chicks gusto nila? Six feet, millionaire. Wow. Well, 1% of everybody. Dennis, akala ako. Iba ka sa pagkatao. <laughs> Thank you guys. This has been Dennis Trillo. And I'm still Sid Lucero. This has been Bea Alonzo. And Andrea Torres. And we just did Sid Lucero. And if you have many cuentos or any other comments, please send them in. It would be great. Our comment is on page of Dennis and Sid Lucero. Violent reactions. I know, I'm going to be like the girls. Yes. You're really going to be married, man. Yes. Sa Sobrang baba. layo. Diba? Sobr- with conviction pa naman namin sinabi yun. Yeah. Ibang iba pala yung kanila. I wonder kung yung mga na-date natin, gano'n din sasabihin or yung career. Oh, well, wala. What are the other questions about? Oh, yan, mama. I'm sorry, mama.